Greetings, Internet. Um, yeah, this is supposed to be a hero analysis video. Um, it looks like my camera is screwing up a little bit. But um, yeah, I kind of wanted to start off with... I uh, don't know, with webcam just for the fun of it. I don't know if you like this or not. You have to tell me. By the way, uh, cat, 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 cat. Uh, that's actually in pretty, pretty... Let me show you. <coughs> It's a huge cat. This thing is like a meter, a meter, meter, a meter long. If I hold him like this, he's huge. He really is, and he doesn't like <laughs> it if I carry him around. Um, but yeah. Um, so today this video is going to be something special. I never did this in English. Uh, I only did some of these in German. And the video is going to be a hero analysis and um, what is, go is going to be about is electrician my favorite hero in the game and I chose a replay which is actually a pretty one-sided stomp so um, today we, we, uh, well, I, I got this replay here and this replay is actually a pretty one-sided stomp um, <laughs> but I'm playing an electrician and the, and the, the reason why I chose this replay is because it is a one-sided stomp and these are usually um, not not fun <laughs> that's that's not the reason why but they are um, well they show you how to rape bad players and that's what it's all about right right so let's get started uh, let me just check uh, no, we are not. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the first time I'm trying out the setup, so I'm kind of new. And, and yeah, so let's just fix everything. And by the way, this replay interface I'm using, this is not a mod, this is actually just um, a few certain things enabled and disabled and stuff like But I'm not using any mods whatsoever. So um, you all, all of you have, uh, have this in the game. Um... But yeah, let's do this. So uh, I'm playing electrician on a pretty low level, actually, and I am playing with a bunch of friends. Only two, I think. Yes, with Toby and Marco. Um, these two are actually quite terrible. Um, then we got these two guys, which are even worse. And yeah, this is probably uh, around 1600 level game. No, not 1600, 1500. Yeah, around that. Area. I don't really know. I don't really know. But it doesn't matter. It really does not. So let me show you why it does not matter. Um, I picked Electrician first of all because he's my favorite hero in the game. And second of all because I knew I was going to play against a Devourer in the mid lane. Because the enemy picked a Devourer. So it's uh, quite obvious what they are going to do. Every, every player lanes uh, Devourer mid if they are really really bad um, but yeah so let's start off with skill build as you can see I started off with energy absorption the reasoning behind that is that anytime that Devourer is going to get close to the creeps I can nuke him for free energy absorption does not cost any money if I hit enough targets uh, not money, it doesn't cost money anyways. Uh, it doesn't cost any mana. And uh, it only costs 75. I get a bunch of mana, especially if I hit a hero. So I can pretty much spam it every time it's off cooldown. Uh, it's useful for last hitting and pretty much everything else as well. And it gives me a nice movement and speed bonus. Which can be very useful against the Rower. But that's what you should always level. But before we are going to go into further detail about anything at all, let's talk about my items. I bought, um, well, two heal things. I think that's quite obvious. I just like those two. I don't actually need them. I don't. But I, I like them. Um, the reason why I bought a Locus Hatchet um, is because I'm going up against a mini hero. A mini hero is usually not going to be able to harass an electrician simply because electrician is very tanky. You are going to see later on why. And and he has that free nuke which combined with a few auto attacks he's always going to win a 1v1 battle early game. 
if it comes just comes down to auto attacks. That's why that's why I don't actually need a shield since the enemy won't attack me anyways. And that's why I got the Logger's Hatchet to be able to last it better. Um, I could also just not have spent that money and saved it up to get an earlier bottle, but I really like the Logger's Hatchet. Um, if you're going up against a range hero, I would strongly suggest, instead of buying that Logger's Hatchet, buying a shield, shield thingy. Iron Buckler! I think that's what it's called. Let's just check. Uh, it's over here. It's an Iron Buckler, yes. Um, I would strongly su suggest buying an iron buckler um, simply because you don't need a you don't actually need the damage to last it. You don't. It's just that easy. Electrician has quite a good base damage and the nuke to help him last it. Um, but you need you need a little bit of survivability and that's what iron buckler gives you. Um, I, but I guess all of that is quite obvious. Um, so let's get going, shall we? Um, as you can see, I'm going up against the Bower. I already told you all of that. And I'm pretty soon going to use my nuke, um, probably around here, yes. So, as you can see, I used my nuke to not only to harass him, but I also got the last hit, which is important. Don't just spam your nuke, you should use it wisely. And you should try to get as many last hits as possible with it. Not only, um, well, harass the enemy, otherwise you're just going to... No, I'm not going to go into Sky right now. Oh, by the way, this was a fun scene. He hooked me in, but here comes the energy absorption in play. He really cannot do anything against me, simply because I have that speed boost, which is amazing. So, level 2! Yes! Yes! Level 2! I hope I change my camera. I, I have to check. Sorry, I, I'm... Yes, it worked. Yes, it worked. I'm, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I'm... This is the first time I'm doing this and I have to get used to it first, but I think that's quite obvious. So, um, I hope you don't mind if I mess up a few times. By the way, I think this is a little bit... Ah, whatever. Um, <laughs> what was I going to talk about? Ah, exactly. Um, level 2. So, let's check what I skilled. I skilled Electric Shield. I didn't skill Crip. So, now the reasoning behind that is... If I'm going up against the hero in the middle lane, it's always going to be one on one. So tell me, people, how are you going to kill an electrician in one on one? Exactly, you don't if he skills shield. Additionally, the shield gives up to 60 bonus damage per second. 60, 60. Well, we can't see that right now. Let's just go into player view. It gives up to 60 magic damage per second. 60 magic damage per second is ridiculous. A mock of brilliance gives 40. 40 magic damage per second. And a mock of brilliance is an item worth 4750 gold. Additionally, electric shield gives health. Pretty much. That's what it does. It gives you a shield. So, um, But yeah, um, we are going to go into... Uh, detail later on um, when it's really going to be useful um, and you're going to see why you should always uh, go with the skill build if you're going middle. I'm not saying you should go the skill build if you're going in the side lane but I still don't like the uh, crit build in the side lane. But this video is going to be ab about electrician solo mid. So um, yeah, mm, here again going up against the devourer and you can see as soon as I activate my shield he kind of has to run away because he does not deal the damage necessary to kill me and well I do so yeah he gets harassed pretty low and I just put on more pressure onto him he, he he's uh, uh, really in a world of trouble right now because he doesn't have a health portion so he's always going to stay low and pretty much anytime he walks near the creeps I'm just going to nuke him level 3 well uh, it's quite obvious level 2 energy absorption um, well, why is it obvious? Simply because, you, as you can see, I'm still harassing a lot and the enemy is still not able to kill me even if I just have one level of the electric shield. The energy absorption simply puts up a lot more pressure. If you are having trouble, you might actually consider leveling up a second level of um, your shield. But only if you're having trouble, please. Um, usually you should go with the second skill, uh, with the third skill, uh, with the energy absorption. So you have more of a uh, secure way to have us. Um, but if you're having trouble, again, you could skill the second ability. 
Um, but anyway, I'm doing all of this on the fly. Uh, this is yeah, no, this is more or less an impro improv. So um, if you still like this, if you still enjoy this video, I would be happy if you could give it a thumbs up. But yeah, let's not talk about stupid stuff like that. And it's oh, and yes, let's talk about stupid stuff like that. Leave me a comment. I like comments. I really do. So leave me a comment. That would be nice. And uh, suggestions on how to do this. But I think it's very obvious. I'm still just putting pressure on my opponent. I just got level 4, skill the second level of electric shield. And as you can see, he cannot do anything against me. He could have nuked me. Uh, um, actually, I, well, I don't know if he had a mana. That's just. No, let's not skip back. Because I don't know the hotkey for skipping bad. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't actually think there is a hotkey for going back. Um, well, I have to look. I have to look it up. But, um, yeah. I got the first blood kill on him, which was actually quite easy. As you can see, I just um, put up a lot of pressure onto him. And let's just fast forward a little bit. Um, but I, I put up pressure onto him, and he really could not do anything against it. He, after a while, he was too low, and then he's just walked into his death. Now I have a two-level advantage, and he is in a world of trouble. So he hooks me in, and actually cannot kill me. Um, because I have my shield, I have my energy absorption, I pretty much have everything. <laughs> He's getting really low, as you can see, he has neither mana nor pretty n nor much health left, so, yeah. It's just, the way Electrician works, he's able to completely destroy any mini heroes that he goes up against. And here you can see me just putting up more pressure. Um, because of the shield, I'm able to tower dive pretty effectively, even in the early levels. So, um, yeah, that's that's how we do it. That's how we roll. By the way, this style of electrician play was popularized by Price back in 2009, I think. And it's not. It was it was really popular. Uh, um, mostly because electrician was a lot stronger back then. Then they nerfed him and made the shield what it is right now. And nobody. Well, continued playing him like this, but, but, I kept playing him like this, and I, I've, I, I always liked it, and Electrician was is is has been my favorite hero for quite some time now, and it always works. The the, the strong part about this is that many people don't expect this to happen. So if this team would never expected an Electrician to go up against him middle, he probably expected the Amon Ra, and. Well, what, uh, what is an MMR going to do against him? Not not really that much. Devourer is actually quite capable of dealing with an... Um, with an MMR. But Electrician against Mini Heroes is just ridiculously unfair. So, yeah. That's that's the reasoning. Why he is very strong in Pub Play. Uh, if you go with, with him. Especially against Mini Heroes. Um, I don't think that's actually... Uh, good reasoning. <laughs> I think I'm talking bullshit again. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but that's just me. I always it's like I I talk and then I forget I forget what I was talking about and I'm like just keep talking, brain keep keep going, keep going. <laughs> you may or may not think something smart, so keep going, and usually it turns out to not be smart at all. But yeah. Uh, in the meantime, as you can see, I do not have wards because my team is terrible. But I don't think the enemy team has wards as well, so... If we go to player vision... If we go to player vision... Okay, now that we don't go into player vision... Why, can why can't I go into player vision? That's stupid, I want to go into player vision. Well, anyways... No, player vision doesn't work, but... Ah, uh, this does... Hmm, whatever. First item is going to be Ghost Bloodshot. By the way, um, let's talk about something really quickly. Um, I leveled up Electric Shield at level 7 instead of Energy Absorption. The reasoning behind that is that Electric Shield is really, really strong. That's about it. You're going to, if you play Electrician, you will realize pretty soon that uh, Electric Shield level 4 is just ridiculously stronger than a level 3 electric shield. It Electric shield grows in so many aspects that it's um, com well it's it's actually quite ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think there's any other way to say it. But um, I was scouting for the predator who and this guy was jungling and pretty much brain dead. And he cannot do anything. 
um, the reasoning behind those marches is that I don't actually need HP because you can see this Devourer deals no damage to me at all. It's nothing. And that's just the power of Electric Shield. And instead of being a instead of needing the health I get from Ghost Marchers, I can actually use the move speed from um no I, instead of getting the health. Instead of needing the health from Steam Boots. I can actually use the move speed from Ghost Marchers more to keep up with my opponents and especially it's important for the unit working. Because the electrician always needs to be close to an enemy to deal damage. Um yeah. But as you notice, I don't skill my ultimate until level 9. I don't skill equip until level 10. And many people are like, what? Why don't you, why don't you, why, why? And then I wake them with this build and that's about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but it's often, oftentimes in, in houses like this that people are like, why, why didn't you skill equip? And I'm just like, watch, watch and learn. And then I... Start killing stuff with this build because it's really really powerful. You you turn into a powerhouse at level eight. At the moment, there's no hero on the map that is more powerful than I am, and it's not even close. I could kill pretty much two heroes on my own, e maybe even three. So mm, that's just evil. That's just this hero. In the meantime, a bot is getting ganked. I'm just charging it and nuking them. Um, as you can see, here we go with the Ghost Marshals. I would have, may, well, I may or may not have gotten some problems if I just wanted to walk through here because it was really, really, a really small gap between uh, my hero and the creeps. That's why I needed the Ghost Marshals. I think they helped me out a little bit. And yeah, I'm just charging. As you can see, the Electric Shield blocks pretty much all of the damage I take. And which tower diving is nothing. It's it's nothing. We can just go ahead and I really need to learn what's the button for rewind. But as you can see that's um that's how much tower damage I take. It's it's really not not worthy. I take like ten HP no more a little bit more. And I actually think that's uh, it's nothing. <laughs> As you can see, it's it's really nothing noteworthy, and that's why this build is really strong. Oh, it's one of the reasons. One of the reasons. One of the many reasons. Um, <laughs> level up the ultimate now because the ultimate is actually really good, but um, it's something it it is really really useful. But I usually stay in lane a lot longer. I am a really defensive player. People don't believe me if I say this, but if I tell them this, but it's actually true. I, I am a very defensive player. I like to just stay in a lane and farm and then win later on instead of just walking around the map and gank everything into oblivion. Um, simply because I think it usually works out better and it's, it's a safer way to go about this. Um, but as you can see, I got an incredible amount of experience lead over this devourer four levels ahead. And he cannot do anything. He gets new pretty s down pretty fast. And yeah. <laughs> he has like, he has nine creep kills, ten. I have 52. That's, that is, well, that's not only credit to the hero, I have to say. This devourer is really, really bad. But, but, uh, the hero certainly helps out. Um, electrician, again, is really strong. People don't actually think about him as this powerhouse of a hero. Um, by the way, I'm going for a mock of brilliance just for the fun of it. Uh, I already um, knew this game was over. It, yeah, well, we are leading with a lot of money and experience. And the Snoop Devo. Yeah, here he... <laughs> Well, he tries to do something, but as you can see, I, I just activate the shield and he, he just doesn't deal any damage. He, he can't do anything against me. And yeah, it's really bad. I know he cancelled his, um, his stupid little uh, ultimate, but still, it was... It's not like it would have changed anything. But here can you okay, here you can see the tower power of electrician. Oh not well I didn't charge him. I usually would have charged in and trolled him. 
a little bit because we can't do that. Um, but yeah, this game massacre. is pretty much over. I just wanted to show you the skill build a little bit and explain what it's all about. Um, items I usually go for, um, we should talk about that a little bit. Items I usually go like going for are puzzle box. I really like puzzle box, but I like puzzle box in pretty much every hero. Hero puzzle box is really strong. You just activate it and then you start equipping it, equipping your enemy, and he pretty much is done for. And if you get it very early on, it's really really strong. Um, other items are mana ring. Mana ring. I think that's obvious. It's re that's a really good item. Um, Helm and Shem and Cetrus. I don't actually like Shem and Cetrus. I like just getting the Helm of the Black Legion and going for a shrunken head afterwards. Um, simply because I think if you're going to need a Shem and Cetrus. Um, oh, by the way, that's that's the power of the ultimate right there. Just passing off the creeps. And here can we can see something very, very important about this hero. Um, I have the shield activated, but I don't actually have any mana. This is a mistake many players do. Um, instead of just using the shield when I have mana to get protection, I'm using it offensively, even if I don't actually have any mana. And just, yeah, make make them fear me, make them de make them get take the damage from the shield. And as you can see, it's quite effective. He could pro could probably try to fight back, but I'm so much faster than him that I could kite him into oblivion and as you can see there's not much he can do. And that's something not many players do. Many players just think about the shield as a defensive tool, but it's probably one of the strongest offensive tools in the game. It really really is. And you should think about it like that. And by the way it allows for unlimited farming. Um, I think it shows right here. No, I don't do it. But you, if you don't have any mana, you can still activate the shield. You can still activate the shield. That's important. And you could probably, you could, you can farm. You can just stand next to a creep wave and kill it with the shield um, without having any mana whatsoever. That's what makes it really strong. And I think you can see it right here. You go into the jungle and yes. Um, pretty soon I the shield should be uh, yes right here I'm just starting to spam the shield for the little bit of damage it deals just a little bit um, I get in between auto attacks and that's actually enough to help out it's it helps it really does and at this point I was like no don't don't dude my creeps and then I just lasted at everything too bad too bad in the meantime, we have actually had a bottom lane. Pyromancer is getting chased down by Devora and Predator, but Predator does not have any boots whatsoever. But Devora is charging, he's using his ultimate on the Pyromancer. Pyromancer still has a stun and a Phoenix Wave left. He's going to use both on Devora. Devora is going to drop. Devora is going to go down. No! Is Devora going to go down? Yes, Devora went down in the meantime. Stuff happens in the mid lane. Three players are dead. Pyromancer still alive and rock and rolling. Pyromancer. Things are falling back. Yes, he is going to fall back and going to survive. Predator has nothing of any kind, and electrician just got a mock of brilliance. <laughs> ah, I laughed at that. That's something I I like to go for if I completely dominate a game like this one. And I uh, feel 450 gold per minute. Um, mock of brilliance at 50 minutes is really good. Really good, um, especially if you activate your electric shield, your DL uh, one hundred DPS a second. One hundred DPS a second. That's uh, <laughs> that's DPS squared. You don't deal DPS a sec per second. You deal DPS. I am retarded. I really am. Why? Anyways, anyways. By the way, I usually, but I think the rest of the skill bit is quite obvious. You should, should just go and level all of your abilities as soon as you get them. But you level um, your other abilities first. And here I go charging and didn't get to activate the shield. And here I kind of forget it to not have that high of a tanking power. But here we go with the 100 DPS a second. 100 DPS a second NP and <laughs> I'm just rolling them a little bit. 
again, uh, you don't need any mana for the shield. But I still don't think it was that much of a smart idea. But Swiftblade is going to completely dominate and rape everything in his path. And I think the enemy is going to give up right now. And we are going to pass the game. I hope you liked this video. Let's skip to the other cam. Is it the other cam? Yes, it is the other cam. And I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the format. I hope you liked everything. If you did, please leave a like. If you did not, uh, please leave a mad comment about everything you did not like. And I, I'm, I'm doing something wrong. I, need, I have to look into the camera, but I'm looking on the screen. Because I'm used to looking on the screen, which is... Ah! Bye. I hope you like this video. I really do.